Welcome back to the channel guys, I want to do a quick update on Player because I've been doing these most days and people keep asking for them, people keep uh, sending comments, uh, messages in the comments section saying keep the Player videos coming so uh, guys I'll try and do my best but um, if there's nothing to talk about there's nothing to talk about but today there is something to talk about so if you see in my last uh, video from yesterday uh, my update on Player um, I actually said that um, this is the kind of pattern that I wanted to see uh, because I fear that there could be, be a potential double top if you see these wicks closing and you discount those if you focus just on the candle body closes we kind of like a double top section and we get rejected from there and what I wanted to see was this kind of W pattern where we get a bounce to the upside I also said that I didn't want to see it drop below this level where you can see the blue line and if it dropped below that level then that would be the danger zone and it could come up get a bounce uh, a rejection off the resistance down there so it breaks through support rejects off the resistance resistance and then carries on down okay so that was yesterday so what am i seeing today um looking at the ocean x chart because uh on the big mark chart um it tells a story but the story that i want to tell here plays out better on the Ocean X chart okay so we do see that we did get a bounce okay off the 60 day moving average all right so what we want to see now is uh or what I am seeing now is a potential rising wedge okay potential rising wedge all right Okay, now a rising wedge is a bearish pattern. However, I'm not saying that this is bearish at the moment. Okay, so we're seeing the bounces lot that we need to see. I've got my blue lines up here. Um, so this is re resistance. Okay, resistance, resistance. All right. Now this is not much of a resistance up here. That's just there as a guide. Okay. Um, if we do go, go past that level, then uh, it's good stuff. But basically what i want to see now is that w pattern forming and i would like to see us break above this level okay it's very rare that you get a triple top all right so if we do touch this level i'm going to assume we're going through it and if you look at the lines of the falling wedge uh, sorry of the rising wedge okay let's just stick on that of the rising wedge uh, you can see if it does break that level we're probably going to come up here Okay, now if we come up here, there could be a rejection down to this level and bounce or down to that level and bounce. But what we don't want to see is it come back down to the bottom of the rising wedge uh, because there's a high probability that uh, it would break to the downside. And if it breaks to the downside, then we could be in the danger zone. Okay, if it does break to the downside out of that, I mean, first, we need to, you know, ensure that this does break out to the upside you know this could just come down and fall through that level and like I said in the previous video I won't want to see us take out these levels okay I won't want to see us come below that because if we did um, there's a high probability that he's going to carry up to the downside all right okay so yeah that's what I'd like to see on that a break above the uh, previous uh, the resistance old resistance becoming new to support and um, probably touch this level as well so that would break this level and then we'd see a new high okay and then we would want to see it consolidate and kind of move upwards if i mean that's if there's no volume if there is volume we could just see a blast off out of that now if it does break out of this uh the the, the uh, rising wedge okay then that would be extremely bullish all right extremely bullish for a chart to a pattern to break out uh bullish from a bearish uh pattern uh that's extremely bullish all right so we could definitely see some fireworks there it would be great to have some news from player at this point um especially around these levels you know some news can always work wonders for the price action um but we don't seem to be uh seeing much activity in regards to the new sharing the sharing news was a catalyst for this pump 
obviously but you could see the accumulation and then this is where the sharing news came in um but the volume okay so some people say you know you can't chart uh, with low volume and stuff like that but at the end of the day um the chart always tells a story and people and bots regardless of whether there's volume high volume or low volume they're still going to trade based on those ideals okay so um in regards to the volume anyway uh what i can see is uh you get you know this like kind of like w pattern in the volume and it's curling back up all right and then we also get obviously after a big breakout like that you get like a decrease in volume and then you get a breakout you get decrease in volume and then you get a breakout either to the upside or to the downside so obviously you can see as the volume decreased we got this big red volume spike and we saw the fall uh, a swift fall to the downside that was brought back up very quickly as you can see it's tweaked all the way back up and that's a four hour candle and then you see the consolidation continue and hopefully heading back up to the upside okay so that to me indicates there's a lot of buyers coming in and uh, you could potentially see the price action come back up to this level and um, like i say right now it's uh it's still in decision time okay but the w that i said i wanted to see that we needed to get a bounce around this level we can see that uh manifesting very slowly okay so that is my update on player for today it's a saturday here in the uk and um I'm going to take some relaxation time and kind of not work so hard today. You know, since I started making these videos, I feel like I'm just busy, busy, busy all of the time. I've also got a day job, you know, um, I work for the, the, the local authority and, um, you know, I'm a personal advisor in my day job. And I, uh, yeah, I mean, making these videos as well, that's, that's keeping me busy. And I, know I enjoy it, don't, don't get it twisted, I enjoy it. You know what I mean? It's something that's keeping me occupied. I like to be able to build something. So guys, I need to see subscribers. You know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, all right? Like and leave a comment in the comment section. Um, if I can get to a thousand subscribers uh, real soon, that would be great. Because at least then I can say it's worth something. And I know that the ad revenue and all that sort of stuff isn't massive, do you know what I mean? But to increase in subs subscribers, is a validation that um, I'm creating value in this space. I don't want to just be here just to be like, a, um, you know, um, a waste of space. Do you know what I mean? I want to create value in this space, all right? Now, that's my analysis on Play. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't done already. You know what to do. Like and comment, and I'll see you again in the next one.